Hi everyone, so I've got another haul for you today. As usual, I will have timestamps in the description box below so you can skip around to two different shops if you would like. I have three orders to start with. I am using natural lighting, at least for the beginning portion because I do want to go over a huge foil order. This is my first ever order from Magic Prints Co. And it was um, greatly delayed. I think there's an explanation in here on why. It was, I think it took 54 days to get to me, if I'm not mistaken. So, let's see. This is my first ever order from her, so it's kind of sad that this is how um, it worked out with the situation, but I understand life happens. So yeah, so she had some health issues, but she was really nice and provided a coupon a code for 25% off to make up for it so I may use that we will see obviously I can't show you what that is so this is a very chunky order because it's my first order from her so I kind of went through and got everything I wanted and this was during the Black Friday sale of course and she also has a really cute foiled sticker on her cellos which says a warning at contents of this package are super cute well, I can't wait. So here's the freebie that comes with it. It is the Black Friday freebie. So you get a whole set of seven headers. The, this is a rose gold foiled freebie, it looks like. These are really good quality foiled headers. So yeah, they're just like a simple bow, almost like the Simply Gilded bow. And then we have a bunch of little icons over here. So it looks like ramen, a floral heart, a blow dryer, chocolate blender, that's a really good one, those are really good, heart balloons, and a heart candle, which is also really cute. So that's really fun. And then I got kind of probably a smaller selection of icons, but I did get them in all three floral colors, which is why there are so many sheets in this stack and they do have the little protective paper over them which is really good so firstly I got the YouTube icon sheet so we have the YouTube play button and then the film clapper so this is really good for like binging YouTube which I do a lot pretty much every day and then this is good for filming for YouTube which I also do a lot so let's see that one is not peeling up too well, so it looks like they may have been, may have had a few issues with cutting, but usually when that happens, you can just peel it from another end and it will come off just fine. So yeah, these are not clear foiled. Um, obviously, I think most icons foiled, or yeah, most foiled icons have white backing, so that is what these are, and I do kind of prefer that. So they are a good size also. So that is the silver, this is the gold, and of course this foiling is pretty impeccable. I think this is produced by a manufacturer, which would explain that. Um, maybe I didn't get rose gold, huh? That's weird, I would have thought I did. Oh well, let's just keep going. Yeah, that's so funny. I don't have any idea what what my thought process was here at all because this I'm seeing hollow, so obviously it was an option. I just did not get it for some reason. Anyway, I guess that's what I'll spend the coupon on. So these are the TVs. I can always do with some TV icons because I watch, I like, I binge one show at a time and I'll watch one or two episodes of that show every day. So when I don't have anything else to mark, I'll usually mark that. And these are really tiny, so like perfect sized little foiled icons to mark that. And they're just so classic and simple and perfect. And you get so many on a sheet, so it's really a great value. So here's the gold. There's little parchment papers everywhere. And then the silver. And then our, I guess I did get rose gold for these, so that's what that looks like. It is a fairly pink rose gold, so I like that. 
And then lastly, the hollow, which is gorgeous. It's not super duper rainbowy. It is a little bit, but it's not like crazy. And you can definitely tell like the vertical striping on it. So that's what kind of hollow that is. But it's still very mesmerizing, like all good hollow should be. So that is the TV sheet. And then next I got puzzle pieces, which I think are so cute. Magic Prince Co. has a lot of icons that a lot of other shops do not necessarily have. So um, that is one big reason that I decided to just go all out with her shop for Black Friday and just like get everything. This is another sheet that I only got in gold and silver. I'm thinking maybe I only did this with foil colors that I thought would be more popular because I don't really use rose gold and hollow as much and I do have other like YouTube icons for instance that I would use um, that I have I think I have those in rose gold or like as leftovers from a wiggle or something I have other ways to mark that with other foil or just even not foil just character stickers and the same thing with this um, I do think I have other puzzle stickers possibly that I could use in like a rose gold or hollow foil spread but um so yeah i just got the most popular foils which are gold and silver for these tiny little puzzle pieces and it's also something i don't really do that often either i don't do puzzles on my own really at this point in my life but my parents do so um they always start a puzzle when i come go to visit so i always do it when i'm at their house so again it's not something i'm gonna need to mark too often so I wanted to have a gold and silver to be able to mark that, and you do get a ton on each sheet because they're really tiny. Alrighty, next I got printers. There's a lot of ways you can, um, a lot of, I guess, things you can use printers to mark, so they're pretty versatile. But I did also get only the gold and silver for these as well. I guess I didn't decide to limit myself because if I just went ahead and get all, got all of them anyway, it would have been like at least twice the amount that I spent and it was already quite a lot. And I got a lot for Black Friday. Anyway, these are also really nice and small. So you have the gold and the silver. And with something that is this solidly foiled, of course, there's some, some black spots or little tiny mistakes but it's pretty hard to notice which is definitely good let me do a quick count to see how many you get on the sheet because it looks like a lot i just want to get a firm number so that's one two three four five six seven across one two three four five six and seven down so 49 that is a lot it's 49 different times you can mark something with a printer per sheet so that is an excellent deal and then next I got these little pill containers, which are really good to mark either getting, picking up your prescriptions from whatever drugstore you go to, your pharmacy I guess, or just remembering to take your medicine, like if you're sick or something. Very versatile, and you got even more on this sheet, so let me do another quick count. So you get 80. 80 per sheet, which is a ton, and gold and silver. So yeah, these are going to last me forever. Let me just do a quick check on the cutting job, because with something this tiny and this close cut, I know that my silhouette would have a hard time with it, but it does look like these are cut pretty perfectly, um, although the top of the sheet is obviously not. I don't know, maybe it is manufactured, or... I mean, not manufactured, maybe it's made in house. I don't know, I could research this, but I'm probably gonna be too lazy to do that. So if you know off the top of your head, just let me know down below. Cause like these cutting mistakes look more like in-house mistakes. Anyway, I don't care. It really does not matter to me what the sheet looks like. And sometimes I'll even cut the sheets to fit in my storage system. Ooh, this one got wrinkled, so that's a big yachty. But again, I don't care. So here we have music notes, also in gold and silver. 
They're just little, I don't know, eighth notes. I think they're eighth notes. I do play music, but um, it's been a really long time. And I play the piano, and that's really hard to take with you when you move out of your parents' house, so I do not have that with me. But my guess is that this is an eighth note. Anyway, I got a ton of these. These are good to mark playing music, listening to music, singing along to music, anything like that. Anything music related, going to see a concert. I don't have any stickers to mark concerts right now because I don't really like going to concerts. But um, in case I get dragged to one, you know, I can use these for that because they're really versatile. So there's that. Next is the laundry sheet. Got two of these, gold and silver. So these are split up. So the top half is laundry machines and the bottom half is laundry baskets. I don't really have a preference for which one I like to mark um, for laundry, but um, it is gonna be good because if you have a little bit more room in the size box you're using, you can use this one because it's taller. But if you're using like a little thing or something, then this one, which is a little bit shorter vertically, might be better for that. So definitely nice to have options. And then here are these pretty laptops. It is a, a good thing to have laptop icons because they don't really have that many. And it's not really something you're going to find often on like a sampler. I don't even know if Scroll Prince Co. has laptop icons in her wiggles. Maybe like one of the cutout icons is um, a laptop, I think. I don't think one of the round ones is. Anyway, it is something I will frequently use more than one of in a week. So I definitely wanted to get a whole sheet of them extra. And I love a little heart. So yep, gold and silver of those. And then I got two of the um, the iPad sheets. These are really pretty. I do need more um, more stickers to mark a drawing with my iPod, cause, or iPod, my iPad, because I've been obsessed with doing that lately. I've been doing so much. You can follow along my Instagram. Um, I will frequently post to Instagram stories what I'm working on or what I'm drawing that will eventually get me into stickers. So you can keep up with me if you like that. I love how tiny these icons are. These are really good for that. So definitely great to have foil options to mark that. Because I do have some character stickers for drawing, but I don't think I have any foiled ones yet. It's so funny to me because I only got one of these stickers in like m the other two foils. I only got the TVs, which I guess makes sense because I watch TV every day, but like that's so funny. I'm curious of like any of the others I got in the other two foils. I'm not sure. We'll see. So I did get the Instagram icons in gold and silver as well. You got a ton on this sheet. Let me see. So it's only 64, so it's not really that much. Not as many as the pill containers. But um, yeah, these are good to mark posting on Instagram, obviously. Or if you're just scrolling through for an extended period of time, which I try not to do anymore. I mostly get my um, my planning news or like shop updates from say Facebook now because Instagram was enabling me to buy way too much and I need to definitely lower my spending in that category. Which is why my hauls are probably going to get shorter and fewer and far between coming up. So just kind of be prepared for that because I know y'all love my long hauls. So that may change. Um, so that's the Instagram icons and now I got two of the ice cream ones as well. These are really cute. See, these are, these are ones that you're not really going to find in other shops is an icon just specifically for ice cream. Um, I know that Skull Prince Co. has her food doodles that has ice cream on it, but like, it's just one tiny sheet with like 10 different foods on it. So you don't get a whole sheet of just ice creams. So here is your solution to that if you eat ice cream a ton because you do get so many on these sheets and these are really cute little ice cream cones with the little heart in them, so that's perfect. And again, they are a very good size. I love how all of her icons are like really tiny, like they could all pretty much fit in a little thing or a quarter box, which is 
really good to use for some white space planning, which y'all know is my new obsession. So really cute ice cream cones. Um, and then next we have like Starbucks coffee cups and gold and silver, just the most classic design with a little heart there. Yeah, I did go to Starbucks. Not terribly frequently, but a few times a month now. So it's going to be useful to mark that. Oh, okay, so cell phones is another one that I got all four foils in. So that's really hilarious to me just to see what my thought process was in getting that. But I do, you know, I call my parents and my grandma, at, at both of them at least once a week. So this makes sense. And I also text people, um, like usually one day will be like a day that I text a certain person a ton and I'll mark that in my planner. And then the next day it might be somebody else or something like that. Or I like sit down and look at memes for like an hour and sometimes I will mark that. You've probably seen that in my plan with memes. But yeah, cell phones are like super versatile. So that makes sense that I would get all four foils of those. These are again a really good size, although they are kind of a bit tall. But still it works out. So there's the hollow rose gold silver and gold so they are slightly bigger than i say the other icons are and i guess i got um all four in the books too which is cool i do read several times a week during my lunch break so these are the last stickers last icons that i got um so yeah Here's the gold of the books. These are also kind of a little bit bigger because they're open books, but I still think that would be pretty easy to fit into like a quarter box size box. Um, so yeah, there's the gold and the silver. Let's go in order here. And there is the rose gold and the gorgeous mesmerizing hollow. Definitely see that vertical stripe there. So yeah, so I only ended up getting three of them in all four foils and the others just in gold and silver. So I may go back later. Maybe I'll use that coupon and pick up some more of these in the rose gold and hollow because again, there's not a ton of like unique icons that I would, that I would use really a lot enough to justify just having them in my collection. So there's the YouTube ones. There's the TV ones. Let me just do a brief summary for y'all. Puzzles. See, some of these are just normal, and some of them are super unique. And then the printers. Pills. Music. Laundry. Laptops. I don't know, it's kind of looking like a lot now that I'm stacking it all up. iPads, Instagram ice cream, Starbucks, cell phones, and books. So it's not a ton. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. It's only 14 different icons, and she does have a ton. In, well, not she probably doesn't have significantly more than this. I don't remember because this was like two months ago when I purchased it, but there was probably like maybe 10 or 15 that I didn't get. Um, so I think I, when I originally went into what I thought there would be like 30 that I'd have to get and I was like scared of how big that would be, how much that would cost, but um, it's actually pretty reasonable. And so there's like maybe only two really unique ones. I guess you could count the, the music notes and the iPads too. So there's four pretty unique ones and then the rest are all just kind of classic that you would find in probably a lot of different foiled shops. But um, these do look like really amazing quality. So. I am super excited to start incorporating these into my spreads. So again, this is my first order, so I haven't used any Magic Prince Co. stickers before. And these are all really cute too, so hopefully those will become part of some new release sheets, or maybe they're already released, I don't know, I haven't checked in a very long time. All right, so now we're gonna get into the non-foiled part of this section. 
we have two orders here. One of, well, they're two tiny orders. So this one is from Glam Planner. This is just me picking up the remainder of the Christmas stuff that I wanted because I was worried that it would leave the shop. Although that's not really much of a worry with Glam Planner as it is with like a lot of other shops, like Simply a Mess and I think Creating and Co. I think both of them, they take their holiday stuff down. But a lot of other shops like SPC, I don't know. Actually, I think Squirrel Prince Co. does take her stuff down too. So I, I already showed you in my previous haul all the remaining holiday stuff I got from her shop. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't really know if I would worry too much about Glam Planner taking it down because she might, but then it might come back as like part of a glitch sale or maybe she doesn't take it down at all. I don't really remember because I haven't been paying attention, but um, I just wanted to be absolutely certain that I would um, get all these things. So this is the, I think it's the gingerbread collection. There's no invoice in here, so I don't remember exactly what it's called but it, it might be like gingerbread village or something like that and I did get the full kits of both of these so these are the biggest size the Lux I think it's called so I did get all the extras as well with that so I actually already got the foil overlay for this in a previous order for some reason I don't remember why I think it was rose gold if I'm not mistaken that goes over like four of these full boxes. I forgot to grab that for y'all so I could show you, but you will see it when I do the plan with me with it. But um, I just, I did want to get this to go along with the overlay. Obviously I had intentions to get it from the beginning. I really do like it. I love just the kind of old timey like village scene. I love that gingerbread house right there. That's so like intricate and I love it. And the hot cocoa. I love this little kind of bakery display scene. And the little nutcrackers right there, I love that. I think a lot of shops did use this art, um, but this one just really stood out to me as the best one. The stack of presents right here, the train. The train and the reindeer always remind me of the Polar Express. The train obviously, because of the Polar Express. And the reindeer because there were moose in the movie and that scene is hilarious. Um, this really looks a lot like those moose, even though he's a reindeer. Um, and then snow globe is really pretty. So here's the candy cane striped checkbox page that I don't really use. Here is the functional page and your two extra full boxes. So we have the nutcrackers, a close up of them, which I love, and then the flat light of the winter clothing. I love how it's all pink and red, which seems to be a theme here. More functional stuff. Some tiny deco, some scripts, and more functional stuff on this side, and including a nice big movie marquee, which I love. Little things, icons, some boxes, and water trackers, which not a lot of shops include these days, and I don't think many people use those. Headers and washi strips. These could definitely be used as like alternative headers. That would be really good to use like header overlays over like foiled header overlay tapes, like you might find from Rose Color Days. Like that would be really, really a cool idea for that. Um, or even like little things, boxes where you could just add your own icon or something. That would be good for that. And then finally, the bottom washi page with the date covers and the work labels as well. So this bottom washi is really split um, into this kind of snowbank scene and then the trees and the glitter. I think her intention is that you can kind of choose how you want to layer it because I think that only you're going to have to choose like one of the small strips. I think that's the size of a normal bottom washi, although I'm not entirely sure. I think you would kind of have to choose, which is sad because I don't like choosing, but... I might just like even cut that short so that I could fit all three of them in there. I don't know. I don't like choosing. I haven't used a Glam Planner kit yet, so I don't really know how I would handle that, but that's how I think I might do it, at least for this one. And then for the extras, you get, well, you can get, if you get the Lux, 
Uh, these are included if you get the luxe. So you get the tall fashion girls, the really pretty girl holding a hot drink with a beautiful sweater. And this girl is really pretty. I like this design right here. I would probably use, so that's a really unique light brown hair color. Usually get the dark brown. I might use the dark brown though. I think that goes the best. And then you get your double box scene, which is just the actual village, which you don't get a ton of in the actual kit. So I like how that is included as a double box because it really works better in a double box as opposed to as one of the full boxes. So I have used a double box before in one of my very recent plan with me's for the first time. So I do kind of have an idea of how I would be able to make this work. So I'm glad that it's not too intimidating anymore. And then of course the glitter headers that go along with that. Alrighty, so that is the it might have been Christmas Village instead of like Gingerbread Village. It might have been just Christmas Village. It is the Something Village kit from Glam Planner. And then the second kit I got, I'm having doubts about which one this goes to, but I know it's not that one because I already have the overlay for that. So it must be this one. So the second and final kit I got in this order is the Christmas at Hogwarts, or no, Christmas at the Burrow kit. I'm not sure if that's the actual name of it, but like y'all know which kit I'm talking about. Tons of shops have used this art. I did get full boxes for this from somebody, I'm assuming simply a mess, most likely. Um, I did get full boxes from her, so I could combine those with some of these full boxes because probably mostly for the kitchen scene, which did come as a double box here, um, but I really liked it spread out as a double box in the full box sheet. So I'm gonna do a lot of mixing and matching forgot to grab that sheet out too so I could show you all but you can um, look it up or you can just wait until my plan with me when I try to combine them but yeah there were definitely some boxes in here that I really liked and wanted to incorporate into this spread so this is obviously um, Christmas at the borough theme Harry Potter themed everything that girl is just a fashion girl but she does have the Weasley red hair, although I don't think she's supposed to be any Weasley in particular. She just looks very much in place in the whole scene. I love the um, the fireplace with the flu powder above there. That's really cool. Here we have a bunch of Christmas and Wizarding World kind of snacks. There's a chocolate frog right there. Let me try to see what this says. It says, love good teas. So <laughs> Luna Love Good, I guess, makes tea. Um, and then that's Christmas Eve is what it says. So that's the variety of it. And then this cute little cat I love by the brooms and the coats and the scarves. Um, all these little photos and paintings on the wall, which is really cool. The potions, presents, and like candies and favors. And then a very cool knit sweater with a Deathly Hallows symbol. Well, I'm surprised that's not like a Weasley sweater because that's what I would expect that to be. I'm not sure. And then the wand right there. The checklist page. Two extra full boxes here are the wreath with various symbols on it and then um, shelves with the elder wands just sitting on there just chilling, just straight chilling. <laughs> um, and then I open up the clothes, the basilisk fang, which is a cool Easter egg, and the, I think that's the time turner if I'm not mistaken, which is really cool. And then the extra functional stuff, more functionals, scripts and deco, and more functionals. Interesting choice for the little things, having them be like this weird yellow shade that really is not part of the full boxes at all. Not really. Not that shade. I don't see that anywhere in the full boxes. That's so weird. But whatever. At least it's in the rest of the stickers, so it won't look completely out of place. And then this page with, again, the three different options for the 
bottom washi. And the date covers. Tons of extras with this. Well, actually the same amount as last time as the last kit. Um, plus one more. So you do get the glitter headers with the Lux, the double box scene with the kitchen that I just could not leave out. I needed this kitchen in some form or other. I just really love it. And you get the pie, the candles, the mandrake, which is so adorable. He's like sleeping. And the broom, the Christmas lights, the flying keys in the corner, which is so cool. And then just um, the framed artwork on the wall and the books over here, just very cool. And then the fashion girls are also tall fashion girls. It's just an extended scene of this girl right here, although she's standing in front of something different, but you can get the full view of her, like, um, what pattern is that? Is that like gingham pattern? I think that's kind of what it is. I'm like blanking on it, but I think that's what it is. The pattern to skirt, which is really pretty. You do need, you do need the full view of the outfit for this. So really loving that. Yeah, I did just decide to turn the light on. So there's going to be a little bit more glare, but I feel better knowing that you're probably going to be able to see it better. So that was the extras, and then I also included the label add-on. Um, because I like these type labels the best. And possibly because I knew I might be able to spread this out over two weeks because of all the full boxes that I got and all the extra boxes here. So I wanted to be able to have that option. So I'm assuming this goes with that. So I'm going to have to try to figure out what goes where. That doesn't really look like it makes sense. Oh, there's a, there's a tall box overlay in there. So I'm assuming it's got to go over this girl right here. Not really. Not really. Obviously, it's not going to go upside down. I'm just going to do a brief check over the other kit I got, just in case I like went crazy and didn't understand what this was supposed to go with. What if I'm wrong? What if it goes with this one? Oh my god. That's got to that's gotta go with that, right? That lines up perfectly. Oh no, but this is silver. I thought I already got like a rose gold overlay. I don't know. I'm going to have to double check that. All right, I'm going to double check that and put that in the um, put that in the description box. What is the deal with the foil situation here? So where did the other foil overlays go? Let's, let's do some sleuthing here. Hmm. She probably has a video up where she like goes over it. Which one goes where? None of these are like making sense to me. I'm gonna have to look at her video again because like this is weird. I'm having so many doubts. All right, I'm gonna have to look that up. Cause otherwise, I'm gonna go crazy if I don't know. Anyway, so that is it for Glam Planner. And I'll let you know all of that mystery stuff that I'm too stupid to figure out right now in the description box. So next and finally, we have this subscription from Creating & Co. I get her subscription every month. I get the biggest size right now because it usually comes with foil which I mean, these all these kits come to the shop later but you don't get the foil out on I don't think in the shop and foil is obviously very important to me so I just I choose to say subscribed and I will just skip whatever I don't want although I think this month I forgot to check beforehand what the actual kit was um, and then it was so it's a funny funny story actually because I saw 
the kit on one of the Facebook po one of her Facebook posts in her group, and I was like, oh my god, I really need that kit, and I thought it was like one of ones that she had like released in the past, and she was like, oh, here's an old kit, it's not going to come back to the shop, or like we're going to re revamp it in a new format and bring it back, or like it's limited or something. I was like freaked out that I wouldn't be able to get it, and then I re actually read what the post said, like completely. And I realized it was the sub box and I was overjoyed because I knew I would already be getting that like automatically. So I'm so glad because I really love this. Anyway, the journaling card is not related to the kit. It is part of her Be the Hero of Your Own Story collection, which is based off of Birds of Prey, the new um, Harley Quinn movie with Margot Robbie. So that is related to that. I probably will see it just because I like her, although I haven't seen Suicide Squad. I probably will see it at some point, even though everybody says it's bad. I probably will, just because. Alrighty, so... I'm so curious now. Anyway, so this is the kit itself. This is like a historical fiction, kind of a little bit romance um, theme, and I just love this so much. I love the color scheme, and I love historical fiction romances, too. I really, I don't read a ton of them, but I have loved the ones that I have, have read, so this is, like, a really great excuse to read more of them. This would go with something like, um, like Jane Eyre or Pride and Prejudice, just anything you could think of like that. I actually haven't read Pride and Prejudice, so maybe that's my excuse to read that. Um, I did read and enjoy Jane Eyre, though, so if anything, that. And I love the movie, too. Um, so, yes, yeah, so you have the beautiful winding staircase and this, like, old Victorian home, which I love. This scene with the, um, the house with the horse-drawn carriage out front, the stack of gorgeous books, this little, I forget what that's called, the little thing outside. It's just, it's off the tip of my brain. Can't think of it. Um, and then the quote box, which says, we are all fools in love. And then a woman reading out on a bench. And then the whole house scene right here and the double box. And then a letter writing scene with an envelope, which is really pretty. So she did include this extra full box right here because apparently there was an issue with this box in the main sheet, which is obviously this sheet. So now it's a fun game for me of spot the difference because I can't spot the difference. They look like the exact same, the exact same bo box to me. Yeah, I really, I can't tell. I can't tell any difference whatsoever. So let me know if you can spot the difference here because right now I just feel like I have just an extra full box for no reason. Um, so let me know. Anyway, going on to the second sheet, you have your date covers, some really pretty deco. I love how you get like the full scene of the clock and the dress and the teacups, all that stuff, which is not actually included in the boxes and the little fan, the mirror, all that little extra stuff. Then you have more functional stuff. We can banner and your little EXO character stickers down there. Some big old boxes and smaller boxes. Um, checklists and sidebar tracker. Headers, little things, and washi strips. Glitter headers and glitter boxes. Her glitter is always like kind of scary to look at like it's it looks like television static to me a little bit it's kind of hard to make sense of I feel like if you like only took one strip though it would be a lot easier to tell that that's glitter yeah looking at it all at once and the colors aren't even like that different it just looks like television static which I think is hilarious and then the additional sheet if you get the biggest size subscription kit you get an additional sheet of headers, um, not headers, date covers right there in a different color scheme. So you won't, you can spread, stretch this out into two weeks, which is also pretty easy to do because she also includes six boxes here. 
So in these boxes, you get all the stuff in the in the deco that um that wasn't on this sheet. So you get the chandelier, typewriter, clock, teacup and teapot, gorgeous dress, and the mirror and the fan. So you do get pretty much everything. So you could do the classic thing of nine full boxes for one week, and then you have six, and then you can just, I guess, use that one to be seven for the second week. Or you could split it eight and eight, which actually might make more sense to do. So that is a really cool thing that she does with her biggest size. So instead of like getting a, like an ultimate or luxe kit for $30 for one week, you get it for two weeks. So it's basically like $15. Um, and then here's the floral sheet that comes with it. You get the quote overlay for the quote box. We are all fools in love. These always terrify me because I haven't actually used one of these yet. So I feel like there's going to be a lot of pressure on me to put it down directly over the quote and um, I just know I'm going to mess it up somehow. It's going to be terrifying. Anyway, she used to make these foil stickers, foil overlays more tailored to the boxes in here, but now they're just kind of weird. You get these little half, half box size strips of just like confetti. So like I don't really... I don't really know how I would use those per se. I guess you could layer layer some of them. They're like not even half, they're like a little bit less than half. So you, you could do like two and a half and just do confetti over the whole box, which I wouldn't really like. Here on this box, I think you could probably just do two on the bottom and that would look good. Um, but for the rest, I might just like cut them diagonally and use them as like photo corners in the style of Rory Sweet Addictions. I don't know, it's just, kind of stressful for me to think about how to use that because it's just a very counterintuitive way of doing foil overlays so I do not really enjoy that change but it's so worth it to me to get the foil if only for that overlay right there and just convenience so it is a really gorgeous kit and I'm super excited that I got it and I can't wait to use it so that is it for this section of the haul. I think I have time for maybe one or two more orders, so I'll just have to wait until I order something because I don't have any open orders right now, which is for like the first time in probably over a year, which is crazy. But I'm doing really well. I'm trying to keep my spending down. So, so yeah, this may go up way after January, which is the month of the sub. So who knows when you're going to see it, but yeah, in the meantime, just enjoy my plan with me is that I will keep trying to work on. So let's go into the next section of the haul. Okay, so now for this section, it's going to be really awful because I lost the entire audio for this hour long portion of the haul after recording it while I'm sick. So it was hard enough already doing it once. Now I've got to do it again the whole hour. I've got to remember everything that I said. Um, so instead of having it be like an exact me trying to match up word for image what I said, I'm just going to do a hilarious commentary on how I usually do my hauls and all the nonsense and tangents that I go off on. So whatever, let's get into it. Um, I'm recording with natural light for as long as it lasts because there's uh, foil in this haul. So blah, blah, blah. You know how I, how I always do it. If there's foil, I try to do natural light. Um, and yeah, I'm sick. I um, have the flu for about a week now. So I'm obviously well enough to record at least a little bit. There's, well, there was some coughing in the original recording, but I think I managed to get rid of most of it. So the voiceover should be fine. So I don't have to edit it out. Yay. Um, ma, ma, ma. What else? I know I'm like trying to focus on screen right now. The camera's not working. I am using the tripod for the very first time, the brand new tripod. So there's gonna be less shaking. There's gonna be like one instance of shaking, but mostly no shaking. So uh, yay for that. It kind of worked, so that's good. All right, so now I'm showing you my Rose Colored Days order, which is not the sub box. I made sure to point out. It is not the sub box. It is just a big order because she had a big sale, the PBC sale. So I went ahead and bought all the holiday stuff and all the little extra stuff that I didn't get before because it wasn't on sale before. Um, so right now I'm showing you the date dots that I got. 
the new bigger size along with the smaller size that I had got previously. So this is the new size, the 7.5 millimeter size. Um, the original smaller size I don't think you can get anymore, so I snapped it up when I could get it because um, cause I knew it would be good to have both the smaller and the larger size, and I'm really glad I did. So this is the gold that I'm showing you right now. It is um, very much the standard date dot size, so you will see this size with Scroll Prints Co. date dots. I think also see these stickers date dots. I'm sure every other shop that does foil does date dots as well. But those are the only other two shops that I have date dots from. So those are the only ones I can really compare them to. But yeah, the, her new bigger size are about the same size as the standard ones. Um, so here I am attempting to show you the date dots over some actual date covers, except the kit I grabbed as an example because it was the one sitting out, the one I'm going to use for my next plan with me. It does not have date covers because it's a mini kit, so that, that was kind of a psych out um, that I'm not going to edit out. I'm also not going to edit out me like leaning too far into the shot because I don't know how to angle my tripod correctly yet, so you're going to see my jacket. You're going to see the microphone cord. It's going to be all kinds of fun up in here, although to be fair, you could see that a lot in my old videos too, so that at least hasn't changed. Anyway. Um, so here I am showing you the size of the old date dots, the smaller ones. I don't know what size they are. Is that 5 millimeter? Probably, since the new ones are 7.5. I feel like that's probably a fair estimate, because those are the two pretty standard sizes of skinny washi. So there you can see the bigger ones are about twice the size of the smaller ones, or something like that. Maybe 1.5 times the size. Anyway, they're significantly bigger. It's good to have both sizes. If you don't have those while I want, it's probably too late. Um, so now I am showing you the other colors. So after gold, I guess we're going straight into rose gold for some reason, which is not the correct order of things. Everybody knows it's gold, silver, rose gold, hollow, but I lost my head at this one. Probably because I couldn't tell at first which one was the silver and which one was the hollow, because when they were both wrapped, in the plastic, it was really hard to tell which one was which. Like, it was impossible. I was certain that there was some mistake, except one of them was like a lot duller than the other, so I was like, okay, there's some difference, but which one is which? But when I took the plastic off, it became kind of obvious, so thank God for that. Thank God I was wrong. Um, which one is this? Is this a silver? I'm certain that I could tell in person, but now that I'm like doing a voiceover on the video, I have no idea. All right, so it must be the silver because the other one looks obviously hollow. The one on the left, right? Yeah. So this is this is the hollow one right here. Um, yeah, definitely you can see the rainbow in the light. I think that having the natural light on it also helped because before when I was looking at it, I did not have it in front of the light and so it was hard to tell. But yeah, there's there's a bit of a faint rainbow in there. I think I also, um, in the original commentary, I made the point of mentioning that um, that her hollow like isn't the most obvious rainbow. Hollow is kind of more subtle, and it's you know even harder to tell when you just have the thin lines of the date dots to go on. Like if it was a solid foil design, um, it'd be easier to tell it was hollow. But yeah, I mean, it looks pretty hollow there when you hold it up to the light. So there's a foolproof way to tell. So um, I think I have just one more like random skinny tape to show you. And that's this one right here, which is the, it's like the black hollow. It's a, it's a solid foil header tape. So it's not a header overlay tape. It's just a header tape like you know, how she has the main four versions of just solid foil headers like the gold and silver i have all those i don't have the hollow i don't even think there is a hollow um i don't know i don't know i will show you those in a second i'm getting ahead of myself and remembering my commentary but here you can definitely tell that it's supposed to be black 
it's less easy to tell that it's supposed to be hollow black. You can see a kind of rainbowy sheen in there, like you can vaguely see it. I thought it would look better in the light. It, it does not look easier to see in the light at all. Um, and then I thought it would look better if you put it on a white background. So that's what I'm getting out the business card for. I'm going to do a little swatch of that extra length because I know that's not the whole length of a header. So yeah, I thought it would look easier to tell on that. And of course it does not look easier to tell on that. If you hold it up to the light, it just looks blacker. It looks less rainbowy. Um, but either way, I mean, it's hollow on black. Like, what do you expect? It's going to be really, really subtle no matter what. So, so that is what it is. And I think my idea with it was that it would be really cool to use some kind of other header overlay over that to, like, make it an even cooler design. Like, you could use some hollow confetti over that. I might be reaching for that right now. Is that what I'm reaching for? I'm reaching for something. Yes, it is. So, um, yeah, so that was my idea. You could do something like that just to keep the hollow theme going. Grab, grab some hollow confetti overlays or just any other kind of overlay would look really cool over that. And really, honestly, over any of these solid foil headers, header tapes, you could do some crazy layering. Like there's the gold one right there, for example. So I have that one. I have the silver one. I have the rose gold. I don't think there was a hollow one, at least at the time that I bought the first three. I don't think so. Um, I do have this kind of iridescent hollow overlay tape though. So it's meant to go over like another type of header. Like you could put that over literally any other header or header tape and just have a kind of hollow sheen to it. But there's no solid hollow. I think I have like a simply gilded five millimeter solid hollow with like white bows or something. So there's something. If you want some kind of option like that, there's an idea. I think right now I'm just admiring the thickness of this roll because it's thicker than a lot of the other rolls, especially the header overlay rolls. And I think it's because it's like the actual headers. So she thinks we're going to use it more. I don't know. I don't know her thinking behind that. But it's cool to have so much. It's going to be hard to find a place to use that type of roll, that color. But when I do use it, it's going to look really cool and super unique. Alrighty, so I was just showing off the business card for a second. You've seen it before, I'm sure. Um, she, she's like cycling through a bunch of business cards slightly just for funsies, I guess. I don't know. Most people don't even use business cards. Alrighty, so now we're getting into the other kind of random non-holiday tape, but it is like a special tape because it's a collab tape. And this is with, who is it? Ribbon and Nib. Yes, Ribbon and Nib. I remember that correctly. Even though you probably heard the sounds of me checking my invoice sheet right now doing the voiceover. But yes, I remembered it before I checked it, so ha. Um, so yeah, this is a really cool kind of floral collab. So it's a floral design um, hand drawn by Ribbon and Nib, I'm assuming. Um, and I did get it in rose gold foil because it's florals and I'll typically get rose gold if I'm only getting one, which I knew I was only going to get one. Um, so I didn't want like a, a hundred of these and one was enough. So um, yeah, rose gold, pink, flowers are pink. That makes sense. Even though it's not the pinkiest of rose golds, like it'll work with a, a spring kit, I'm sure. There, I am showing it off against the, against some white paper so you can see it. Um, I'm sure I'm commenting at some point about, okay, well there, I'm gonna comment about how her tapes peel off certain kinds of paper really well. See, this comes off pretty easily. Other kinds of paper, it does not. So you gotta, gotta be careful about that. Um, but this works pretty well, although that's kind of stupid that I made that mistake, but I'm sure I've done that a lot because I refuse to swatch them because I do not like to waste. Anyway, um, another comment I made was about how the design is like, it's really kind of tiny and intricate and so the foiling kind of makes it lose some of that, but like not too much of that. It still looks pretty good. 
So we've got, I think, four different designs here. So you have the two types of corner borders facing opposite directions, obviously. You have the top and bottom border design, and then you have the all-around border design. So you get four different designs on a roll, which is pretty standard and pretty generous. So that's going to go with a lot of spring, nice spring kits. Um, that you would use rose gold with, or just anything really. It would look pretty good. Alright, um, so that's that. Well, oh yeah, I was also going to point out the um, PBC sale $25 and up freebie, which is like the same kind of hand drawn floral design as the collab. It may just be the same artist, too. Um, but you get those in just full box overlay stickers, two unique designs too that aren't on the roll, which is really cool. You get a kind of flower crown design and a bigger corner corner floral design. And I think those are also in rose gold foil. I don't remember. They look kind of similar. All right, so Valentine's Day. Um, pretty much all of the options the color options were gone by the time I went to buy because they were first released like months ago so they all went pretty fast so by the time I went to buy like most of the options were gone um thankfully they were all like pretty good options though they were all like shades of pink and I was like I don't care just give me a shade of pink it's gonna go with most valentine's day kits so what was left was cosmopolitan so that is what I got um and it's like a nice hot pink, like that's going to go with a lot of different Valentine's Day kits. So I'm pretty psyched about that. So I picked up the header tape option, which was these kind of hearts on a string design. It's a really simple design. It's probably not going to show up well against a lot of different kinds of headers, like glitter headers. It would probably look really good against a solid header, though. Or just on like white background or as a border on a full box or just anything. They're pretty versatile. And here is the singular tape option, which has, I think, a lot of different full box designs on it. So this one opens to the left. So the first design is this kind of hearts hanging on strings with bows designs kind of cool like that all the different different hearts blah 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 what are words um yeah that's very cool and then you get the top and bottom border of the hearts on a string so the same kind of thing as the header and you get the top border of the filled in hearts which is really cool it looks pretty busy and then i really love the all around border which is just the open hearts, the heart outlines. It would look really good if they were filled in too, but I really, I would just like the subtlety of the open hearts. It's really, really sweet. Although I feel like it would get lost in a lot of full box designs, so you'd have to be careful. And then you get your bonus fifth design, which is the hearts on the side. So this kind of side border, which would also be kind of hard to use on a full box without covering up something important. So you gotta be careful with that one too. I feel like for most of these, you just got to be careful that you're not covering up anything. But it's cool if you have that option. I like the doodly look and how all the hearts and all the boxes are like really unique. So yeah, so there was only one, I think, full box option for Valentine's Day. One full box tape option. So I really liked it. It had five designs on it. So you get more bang for your buck that way. More options is always good. So finally, let's go ahead and get into the St. Patrick's Day tapes. So there were, again, four colors offered for this one, I think. I think it was like various shades of green and then like a light gold. Um, I only got two. Normally I'd only get one like the Valentine's Day, but um, I just really wanted the green and gold. Like I couldn't decide which color would be more St. Patrick's Day-y. So I wanted to get both so I could kind of mix and match it as I saw fit and I think it was really funny because um I don't tend to like a lot of kits that I see for both Valentine's Day and St. Patrick's Day but I like more Valentine's Day kits that I see than St. Patrick's Day kits 
So I thought it was really funny that I got only one of the Valentine's Day foil tapes, but I got two colors of the St. Patrick's Day tapes, because, like, I have even less of a chance of using those. But, um, I just really wanted to be able to mix and match the green and gold, and they're, like, two of my favorite colors for, um, foil, so it made sense for me to just get these. So I, um, I went with the light gold because that was, I think, the only gold option. Instead of just a normal gold, it was only a light gold that was offered. And the green was shamrock green, which is kind of like an emerald green, I want to say. But, like, not quite. I forget, like, what's kind of missing. Like, maybe it's not quite dark enough, possibly. Maybe it's, like, more of a hunter green. I don't know. It just doesn't quite scream emerald green. But, like, almost. Like, it's almost there. But this is the header design. So it's a really cool kind of confetti with um, outlined and filled in shamrocks and little bows and then just classic confetti dots. So it's kind of a busy confetti. But also the lines are, like, really thin. So it would be another one that you wouldn't want to layer over a really busy, like, glitter header. Because it would get lost. The design would get lost in there. So again, over a solid header, it would be really good. Somebody, some shop needs to come out with, like, a million different solid color he headers. Because, um, like, every shop has glitter headers. But not enough shops have solid headers. And with all of the overlay tapes coming out, even just for most color days alone... Like, there's going to be a huge market for that. So that's my suggestion. If you want to make it big right now, do solid headers in your shop. Um, so here's the full box tape for this. So we have just a kind of rainbow swatch, 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 of the confetti that was the same as on the headers, the header tape. Um, and then we have just a really nice sample border just a solid line border with the little shamrocks in the corners more of that same confetti but just at the top and then a really cool all-around border of just the filled in and outlined shamrocks and it's kind of like a not straight border it's very like haphazard which is really cool it would look very cool over like certain types of full box designs so yeah overall very pretty i am just going to briefly show you what it looks like in gold without unrolling all of it just to like give you a taste of it because i think the light gold is really pretty i like all shades of gold but like gold and light gold i like probably the best champagne gold is like really nice too um because it's also kind of a lighter gold hot gold has its time and place so it's not necessarily my top favorite but I do like it. So yeah, there is the light gold in the full boxes. Let me just peel some of that up for you. It's gonna be really fun to mix and match these on whatever St. Patrick's Day kit I get because I don't, I don't even think I have a single St. Patrick's Day kit right now. I have like maybe one Valentine's Day kit, maybe two, probably one, um, but I have zero St. Patrick's Day. So I'm going to need to think about that. Because, like, I've seen shops come out with them. I'm just, like, not too into it. All right, so here I'm bringing out my other two green foil overlay tapes to see which one is more emeraldy. Bottom one is too close to solid green. Top one, top one, well, of course, it's not focusing right now. The top one looks pretty emeraldy, the confetti one, um, which is also Rose Color Days tape, so that makes sense. Yeah, that one right there. Looks pr that, that looks pretty emerald green, so I'm glad I have at least one option. Although I think I have like two emerald green wiggles from SPC, so I'm pretty good on emerald green foil. So here's the full box of really freebie. One of these comes with every order and some random foil color. So this is a really nice kind of springy green, like a light olive green almost. And I already have that one. So, um, here I am talking a lot with my hands about how I like to hoard these so that um, when I have multiples of one color, I can just stack it up and use it 
during like a whole week. So if I get two or three of those same exact color freebies, I can have like four or six full box overlays for one week and that's like a whole week's worth, so it makes sense. All right, so the journaling card freebie was the February calendar, which has the same font as the date dot tapes, which I thought was a really cool kind of Easter egg thing. So I'm going to put that in my daily planner where I usually keep my calendar journaling cards, which are the only ones I actually use. Um, and then the PBC $50 and up freebie is super cool because it's got these like planning related scripts in this nice rose gold, I want to say, foil. Um, and this really cool script that I don't know who writes it, but it's a really pretty script. But um, all of these are pretty much ones I'm going to use, which I'm psyched about. So we've got new releases, $2 Tuesday, Washi Wednesday, which I don't really use. But if I get Washi Happy Mail on a Wednesday, I'm probably going to try to use that for that. <laughs> Make it work somehow. Um, no spend, which would be good to use on the sidebar because I am tracking in my habit, uh, in my daily habit tracker now. I'm tracking no s days I don't spend on anything. So that would be good to use in the sidebars of my spreads. Um, Pre-planning, which I actually use to mark when I'm preparing to film a plan with me, which will be a memory planning um, type of thing. And then memory planning, which would of course be filming my plan with me, is like you see on my channel. So there's my commentary with the poorly timed hand movements and gestures, but that is what this whole haul will be about. Um, this whole section anyway. So right now I'm showing off the fact that her cellos not only include the pink bows on them, but she also has the white bow option, which is really pretty. Um, so that's that. That is the foil tapes. The end. Bye bye. All done. Now, what's next? Alright, so now we have some little things. Really teeny tiny order. About five sheets. Yep. Five bitty bitty sheets. I think she had either a sale, maybe it was the PBC sale, or um, some kind of clearance event. Some of these sheets were on clearance or something. I don't remember. But either way, I had to stock up. So I just cleared out my wish list again, which was very small because I place orders semi frequently. Um, here's the journaling card. I think that's a Pokemon. I'm not good with Pokemon because I've never played or watched Pokemon, so I don't really know, but it's very cute and I like it and I like the drawing style. I've always liked her drawing style. It's kind of what I aspire to, so it's cute. I'm going to keep it even though I don't know what it is. So here she's kind of rearranged her freebie format. So we do still have the Some Little Things Order Arrived sticker, which I do like to use. Um, I like to use those types of stickers to mark a specific shop's Happy Meal when those stickers are provided to me. Makes it easy. Um, so instead of doing just two little kind of calendar event stickers in a freebie, she's doing four now. So it looks like on the 1st of February, she did her mini doodles release. On the 14th, she had a Valentine's Day release. 15th, her sub box, don't remember what theme that is. And then the 22nd is some kind of love story bundle release, which looks so cute. So I'm gonna keep an eye on the calendar for that. So that is what her freebies consist of now, and I think that's really cool. I do love marking events in my planner with stickers themed for that event. Very easy. All right, so yes, here we have five sheets, and they are all like pop culture sheets, which I'm really psyched about because those are my favorite type of sheets. Um, so here we have the Star Wars ones that we're starting off with, or rather Galaxy Wars. So I did have a Star Wars themed sheet previously that was not the same as these two. Don't remember what it was called. I don't remember exactly what was on it. I think it was more in line with the original Star Wars, but like, I don't know, it was somehow different from this top sheet here. I don't remember. But either way, I knew that these two were new and I had to get them because there's a lot of Star Wars stuff going around right now. I still have to watch Rise of Skywalker and The Mandalorian. So I still will have to mark those eventually. So even more reason to get these. So this is the original Galaxy Wars. So this is more of the original characters. So we have Lil doing a ton of cosplay right here. I kind of glanced over it too fast. 
on the original sheet there is Luke, Leia, I think that was Han, Chewie, and then Darth Vader. So here we have Rey and then that other girl question mark who may be another version of Rey, I don't know. I feel like not because I haven't seen Rise of Skywalker and I have no idea. I have no idea. Please tell me who that is. It won't be a spoiler. It's the one occasion that I will allow spoilers because like I really want to know who that is. It looks like another version of Rey but like I don't know. Maybe it's not. Please tell me. Um, and then we have Kylo Ren. I think that is Poe. And then I think that's Finn. I think. I think that's his name is Finn. I feel like that's probably true, but I've been watching so much Adventure Time lately that, like, because that, I know that Adventure Time, the name, the name of the main guy is Finn, so, like, is, is this also Finn? Or is this just me hallucinating Adventure Time into everything now? I feel like his name is Finn. Let me know if I'm wrong. If I'm right, don't let me know, but let me know if I'm wrong. Um, but yeah, so there's a little doing, like, so much cosplaying right there. She's so busy but it's very cool. And here she's doing even more. Um, so we have two more kind of pop culture sheets. So here we have Stranger Things. <laughs> Strange Happenings is the name of the sheet, which I think is really funny. Didn't notice that before. Um, so yeah, it was just amazed me that I didn't have the sheet already because like, I try to collect Stranger Things stickers from all the shops because not a lot of shops do character stickers as like Stranger Things characters. So it's kind of rare. I mean, it's becoming a little bit more common but it's not super duper common. So I try to pick them up where I can. So it was just crazy that I hadn't already had the sheet. So I needed to get it. So we have um, 11 at the top, obviously. And then the guy with the black hair, who's, whose name is Mike, right? Is Mike. But he's played by an actor named Finn. And there's just so much Finn going on right now. It's crazy. I'm going crazy because of all this Finn action. It's so weird. Nobody's name is Finn, except now everybody's name is Finn. Do you know a guy in real life named Finn? Because that doesn't... No, there's nobody in real life named Finn. That's so crazy. Anyway, who's the kid with brown hair? Is that Will? Is it? It's probably Will. It's gotta be, right? And then... Oh man, I skipped too fast. Anyway, Dustin was below Will, and then I think Lucas was below him, even though I thought Lucas had black hair, not brown hair. Anyway, moving on to the Infinity Heroes sheet. Ah, um, that's Thor, because he has a Stormbreaker, his new hammer. No, axe. It's an axe, not a hammer. That's Stormbreaker. I don't know who the, who the red guy is. Who's the red guy? Who has glowing hands? Who is this? Wait, is that the, is that the witch? The witch woman, Wanda? What is the Scarlet Witch with the glowing hand? No. Could, I know she has magic that she does with her hands, but I don't think they're glowing. Tell me who that is. I know that's Doctor Strange because of the amulet and the cape. It's pretty obvious. And that there is Ant-Man. Just kidding. I know that's Thanos. Um, anyway, at the bottom, I'm pretty sure that's... Uh, why do I keep wanting to say Wonder Woman? That's Captain Marvel because I have very little respect for both of those female superheroes. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that's Captain Marvel. Um, so yeah, this, I, I know everybody except for the red, red guy. Who's the red guy? Please tell me about the red guy. <laughs> or girl. The red character with the glowing hands. This doesn't ring any bells for me. It's gotta be a new character, right? Because all the other characters are kind of newish. I mean, Thor's not new, but Stormbreaker is new. Like, all the others are kind of newer to the Infinity Saga. It's gotta be a new character. Tell me who it is. It's gonna drive me crazy until I find out. And then we have binge watching, which also could use to relate to pop culture because I binge watch pop culture all the time. Um, so I actually just finished watching Phineas and Ferb as of today, as of filming, which is really exciting to me. Um, I'm still watching Adventure Time because I want to watch all of the. No, because I want to draw all of Princess Bubblegum's unique outfits. Um, you can follow along my shop Instagram if you want to know about that. But, um, but yeah, next on my list, I have to watch Gumball. So that's going to be really fun. And then after that, I'll allow myself to watch Avatar. I have an order that I got to watch things. I got to watch those entire shows. That's what binging is. 
So yeah, so I don't know how long the ball is, but I feel like it's pretty short. It might still be ongoing. It might still be on the air. I don't even know. Either way, I have to get caught up. So that'll be fun. That's my next binge watch project. So it's nice to have stickers to mark that. Um, mumble, mumble, mumble. Here I am ranting about something. Probably about how I'm also watching The Office again, but I'm watching it more slowly because I'm listening to The Office Ladies podcast, which is... Um, featuring Jenna Fisher and Angela Kinsey, who are, you know, the two girls from The Office. And they're talking about their own show, which is really awesome. So they, they only upload an episode once a week, so I only have to watch, re-watch one episode a week, so I can do that a bit more slowly. So I still have time to binge another show in between that. Sorry. So that's, that's when Gumball is going to come in, and then Avatar after that, which will be a real treat. I'm excited. I'm glad to be done with Adventure, or not Adventure Time. Never that. But Phineas and Fart, because that show just went on forever. Four seasons is too long. All right, so now we have Skull Prince Co. finally, and this is the Cyber Monday Mystery 2019. Woohoo! So I didn't get this when it came out, obviously, because I will never buy a mystery kit if I don't know what it is. But when I saw Andrea's reveal video of this, I was like, dang, dang howdy, I want this kit. I need it. It's perfect for me. Um would have been perfect for like me 10 years ago but like come on I'm gonna go to Europe again so this is a super gorgeous kit I got from the buy sell trade because it was on super super sale I think originally it came with like two wiggles but I got it without the rose gold wiggle because like that's the most basic wiggle you can get anywhere else um but it did have the marble wiggle like glossy marble with rose gold which I don't think really goes with the kit because the kit doesn't have marble in it but it'll go with something else but I was like heck yeah I'll take it for ten dollars cheaper just because you're taking out the rose gold wiggle like sign me up so it's too good of a deal to pass up so that's why I have this wiggle that I don't know what I'm gonna do with I'm sure it's gonna go with some other kit like there's gotta be um but yeah so this is a big old ultimate kit all the extras except for that rose gold wiggle. Um, super psyched about it. So it's a very European kind of kit. I've heard some people say it's kind of a Paris kit, but it's not a Paris kit because you don't see the Eiffel Tower anywhere in the kit. And frankly, there's like a little bit too much gelato reference for it to be kind of a Paris kit. I don't know. I just think it's like very Europe in general. Like it could be used for a lot of places in Italy and, and other places in France. Um, it's just giving me very like Italy vibes. They're just like really anywhere else. A lot of European cities look the same. Um, so here I am talking about everything else but the boxes. So eventually I'll get into the boxes once I stop shifting around the kit aimlessly as I commentate on which city this would be best used for. So you've got the gelato and I love that like Dalmatian spotted gelato, which is really funny to me. So that could be like Italy, right? And then you've got the like the the buildings double box right there with the gelato place on the corner because every corner, every street corner in Europe has gelato place. Like that looks very Italy to me, like Florence or something. Even Rome. Or like Siena or something. Then you've got the macaron box, which could also be very French. Um but I feel like you get macarons in more places than just France. Although I didn't really see them a ton elsewhere in, in Europe. But like, I don't know. There's like equal elements of France and Italy in this kit. Just like, just not Paris. It's just not a Paris specific kit. And it's not a Venice specific kit. I already have a Venice kit. I got the brunch in Venice kit. Or like breakfast in Venice kit from Glam Planner. And I had to snap that up right away because... It was such a unique kit. There's not a ton of kits like that that are Venice themed, especially not, you know, breakfast and Venice themed. It was gorgeous. So I had to snap that up. So I've already got that. I've already got the Paris kits. You've seen that clip art lately. So I'm all set on those. I just needed a generic European vacation. And this is that. This is this was going to work for so much. Like Florence, Rome, Siena. Probably not the coast of Italy, I don't think. Probably not Venice, which is on the coast, obviously. But just like any inland city, any extra city in um, in France, like Nice, Marseille, even Versailles, even though there's no castle in the kit, that would be really cool. The Palace of Versailles is amazing. But um, it would it would go it would go well for one of those kits. So 
you got, you got plenty of options with this kit. It's very versatile, and I appreciate that so much. Um, so we've got the wine, of course. The wine is very European in general. The macarons and the croissants. All right, that's kind of Parisian, but again, it can go anywhere. The bike and the flowers, that could go anywhere. The cup of tea, I'm a little bit iffy about, and that seems kind of UK to me, very English. Meanwhile, the rest of the kit does not seem very English. I feel like the UK is kind of on its own plane, not really like the rest of Europe. But, um, but like, it's feasible that you could get tea elsewhere in Europe. Um, the fashion the in the bottom left box is also very UK. But um, not necessarily, though. You can get high fashion in a lot of big cities in Europe. Um, but yeah, like I'm saying, this you could put this anywhere. Anywhere you go in Europe, this is your kit. Probably, probably not necessarily everywhere. Like, maybe not Ukraine. But, um, <laughs> I don't know. I've never been to Ukraine. Probably not, like, um, Scandinavia, either. But a lot of the more classic touristy destinations. I'm sure that I'm also going off on a tangent at some point about, um, or at least I did in the original audio, about Greece. How Greece is kind of also on its own, own level. Um, when you think about a Grecian vacation, you usually think about, like, the Greek islands. Like, there are so many kits based off of, like, Santorini or Mykonos. And there's a few others, too, I think. But, like, the white buildings with the blue roofs overlooking the ocean, like, that's what you think of when you think of Greece. But, like, Athens is not like that. Athens is kind of more touristy, and I don't want to say dirty, but it's, it's, like, not picture perfect like the islands are. Neither is Rome. Like, when you get to a lot of those places, they're, like, they're not as cool. Like, sure, there's the touristy stuff. Like, there's the Colosseum in Rome. There's the Parthenon in Greece in Athens. Um, and the, it looks very cool, but it also looks very touristy. It doesn't look very pristine and untouched. So, um, so those, yeah, they would not necessarily make for good kids. So, I don't know, you could, if you're going to Greece, you could take, like, one of the Hercules kits that have come out lately, there's a lot of those going around, you could take those and say, that's my Grecian vacation kit, but, um, wouldn't necessarily be super accurate depending on where you go, I don't know why I went off on this tangent, um, but this kit does not remind me of Greece at all, so I, I would probably just grab a Hercules kit and say, there's my, there's my Greek vacation kit, um, I would save this more for France or Italy. Anyway, let's go over the rest of the kit. Checks, which I don't use, the boxes. So this is how you can tell it's kind of an older kit, because you got the bill dues and you got the, the book strips. Those are, like, what, four iterations ago of kits? Those are pretty old. Um, it's like a flash of the past right here. It's crazy. Which is weird, because, like, this is such an old format, but this kit, like, just came out. It's crazy. Well, not just. I guess it was Cyber Monday last year, but pretty recent. But I do like this format. Like, this is probably one of my favorite formats. Get your beautiful ninth full box with the girl with her gelato and her clutch. And this beautiful floral, like, kind of sundress in front of the buildings. Very pretty. Goes with the rest of the boxes. You got your old checklists. Very old format. Never really used those. And you get um, a bunch more half boxes. I thought these were third boxes at first, and I got excited, but they're not. They're half boxes squared off. This was before she replaced those with the actual square boxes, which I haven't really used because I haven't used a kit with that format yet, but I can imagine it's going to be tricky to find out how to use those. Um, so I'm glad that this one came with half boxes, at least, so I can put off that trouble for a bit longer. Well, at least I don't know when I'm going to use this kit, but we'll see. Here we have your little things and labels, fancy labels, and then the patterned fancy labels and the headers. Here we have all this gorgeous deco, weekend banner, movie marquee. There's the third boxes right there. Get your page flags and work labels as well. And then here we have the beautiful bottom washi, which is the same pattern as the same floral pattern as the woman's dress in the ninth full box. Yes, there you go. And the tenth full box, just the pattern and the date covers. I would I would probably cut that bottom washi in half, I think. Yeah, I think it would be a good idea to do that. 
Don't need to really preserve the integrity of the design. It's not like a cityscape scene. I am using this opportunity to show you the size of the larger date dots, date dot tape against the date covers. So you can see it fits in the space pretty perfectly. Like it's pretty standard size. So that is how well that works in that situation. And I'm probably going to show you the smaller ones too, just for just for shoots and giggles, just for comparison's sake. So you can see it's quite a bit smaller in the space, but it would still work if you want a more subtle look. I wonder what kind of floral would go with this kit. I would probably just stick with rose gold. I think there's a lot of nice pink action going on in this kit. So the kit did come with all the extras. You get the little Andrea Munchkin freebie with the half box included. And then you get the 50mm washi strip add-on. So again, I would just cut the original washi in half and just do that. Put some foil over that. What kind of color even is that? It's not like black or anything. Here I am going on about how I'm not going to use the marble with it because there's no marble in the kit and it doesn't go. Um, glitter headers, of course, and the, uh, the label add-on just because, even though it's the ultimate kit. I really do like the fancy labels. Like I would, I would get so many more of those to do with my um my some white space planning. Those are my favorite kind. And then the glitter headers, and yeah, that is all the extras that came with that kit. It is super duper gorgeous. I like the um, the art style of this kit. I like the color scheme. I didn't talk about that before, but I appreciate the color scheme in this kit. It's very muted. The pinks and blues are very muted, and I love that. It, um, the light colors, the pastel colors, mix with the darker colors of like the the table, the background table and everything, would not necessarily go very well in all art styles, but this art style, it works because the lines are very, the outlines are very thin, they're not super thick outlines, so it all blends together and makes it look more like an actual photo, like a photograph, very kind of realistic that way, and so it, it goes very well because of that. So, that's another reason I like this kit more than I probably thought I would. So here's another view of the very glossy marble rose gold wiggle. I think usually she does a lot of matte options with her solid wiggles, but this is like the first glossy one I think I've gotten, so it like really stands out. It's kind of scary a little bit, but I mean it is pretty. I'm sure there is going to be an occasion for me to use it. So there's kind of a close-up of that. Actually, it doesn't look too bad in this lighting because I'm not using a lamp at all. And it's like the sun's kind of going down a little bit, so you'd think it would be a little bit darker. Who knows? Maybe this is like the exact perfect time to film in natural lighting. And I just happened upon it by accident while being sick and actually not recording my audio. Ho ho. I'm still very sour about that, you can probably tell. Anyway, enough of this stinking, like, wiggle. Nobody cares about this wiggle anymore. I stopped caring about this wiggle before I even started filming. Like, I'm not going to use that wiggle. I'm probably going to force myself to use it, but I'm over that wiggle. Um, except now we have, like, six more wiggles to replace it, so <laughs> let's get into that. So this is my actual order from School Friends Co., the website. So obviously I placed this order solely for the Alice in Wonderland kit, but she was also having a sale on all of her other wiggles. Um, she was putting them back on their like release day sale of like $10 for the small ones. And the big one, the copper mega, mega <laughs> the copper mega wiggle was how much? I want to say it was like probably 20 bucks, maybe 15. There's no way it was 15. Maybe it was 20, maybe it was 25. Maybe it was 20. I'm going to check the website right now. Because I'm so curious. Anyway, so I had to throw those in. I had to get all my wish list wiggles. All the ones I had plans for. Because they might leave the shop and then I'll never have them. I can't have that. So, um... So yeah, I got just like this one tiny dinky kit. And then like 
10 other wiggles to like round it out to a nice chunky order. So there's your journaling card. I'm sure it's one that I've seen before. Very classic. This is a new kind of freebie that she's got. Um, haven't gotten this one before. We've got some labels, new releases, and Wiggle It Wednesday. Gold foil, obviously. And the Swirl Prince Co. logo. I don't know why I need six of them, but now I've got six of them. So there you go. Um, so that's a new kind of version of that. Don't know how well I'm going to use that freebie compared to previous freebies, but whatevs. Here's your $75 nut freebie. There's your nice hot gold sparkly. Sure, you've seen it before, so I'm not going to go over it too much. Here are my smaller foil sheets. Here we got the um, Marvel movies. I love that she's doing this. I wish that she would do this for all kind of movie genres. Like, I know she's got the Disney movies, the Pixar movies. Um, I think she also had holiday movies like Christmas movies, and now she's got Marvel movies that she's doing. I want her to do like all genres, like like horror movies would be cool, and, like romance movies, comedies, action adventure, just all of them, just do all of them. Um, but yeah, so there's there's a lot of Marvel going on, so I'm going to rewatch all of the Marvel movies at some point, because I don't remember the early ones, and the Marvel movies just keep coming, so I need to refresh my memory for all of them. So this is going to be really good to mark that. Um, so you have Black Widow, which is actually an upcoming movie. I'm psyched about that. I'm excited. It's going to be cool. And then Age of Ultron, Ant-Man, Captain America, Spider-Man, The Incredible Hulk, Guardians of the Galaxy, Captain Marvel, bleh, Iron Man, Black Panther, Doctor Strange, Thor, The Avengers, Infinity War, and Endgame. So that's really cool. Obviously, there aren't every single one. Like, there's no sequels. Um... Like, there's no Ant-Man 2 or, like, Guardians 2 or Doctor Strange 2, which is coming out. But that's when you grab your handy-dandy date dots. Um, and then you grab the number 2 and you put it next to it. And then there you go. There's your sequel. I did that before with, like, the Cinderella sequels, I think, in my planner. So you've probably seen that. It's my little sneaky trick on how to get away with that. Um, so that's why you have to get extra sheets also just in case. So yeah, I am looking at the Copper Mega Wiggle on the website. It, it was only 20 bucks, whereas usually it'd be 35. So it's actually rounds to 19. So it's pretty good. Um, I also got the wedding attendee sheet because I have a wedding coming up in a couple months. My third cousin's wedding in three years. Oh my God. So I figured it'd be nice to have this to use for one of the weddings that's coming up because um, this sheet just came out. So we've got, this is in rose gold obviously, because the kit I have picked out to use is going to have rose gold for all that goes with it. So we've got cocktail hour, the ceremony, eat some cake, dinner time, sign guest book, they said I do, buy wedding outfit, time to dance, take photos, buy wedding gift, and send off the happy couple. So some of these are going to apply to weeks that I haven't actually filmed yet, like buy wedding outfit. I bought my dress I think late last year and I haven't filmed that plan with me yet because I'm like half a year behind. So I'm glad I have that because now I can use that. <laughs> Again, the benefits to being half a year behind in your memory planning. Can't tout the benefits enough to make myself feel better about how behind I am. Anyway, now for what we've all been waiting for, which is the Alice in Wonderland kit. Now, if you saw this come out, um, and you know anything about me, your first thought was probably, uh, Alicia's gonna buy that kit for sure. And uh, if you thought that when you saw this kit, you would be absolutely correct because that's what I thought too. I, I looked at that and I thought Alicia's gonna buy this kit for sure. <laughs> and I did. And I, I, yeah, I broke my low spend in which I was steadfastly refusing to buy kits from SBC because my wish list just keeps growing. But for this kit, I knew it was a mini kit exclusive, and I knew that her mini kits sell out super duper fast, so I had to buy it, and I knew it would be popular, because it's really pretty, so I had to get it, and then I just tacked on everything else to the order. But it is pretty. I love pretty much every Alice in Wonderland kit that I see, and they all kind of have a very similar format. They've all got this same kind of stuff going on, 
They got the sign post, the, all the tablescapes, some kind of Alice figure. They've got the some kind of reference to the Mad Hatter and the March Hare, and some kind of tea, tea party tablescape scene. But um, I love every single iteration of it. It all turns out to be really pretty. Um, I think the Glam Planner Alice kit may be a little different in format, but like this kit and like all of the other photo kits I have that are Alice themed, they all kind of have the same kind of theme going on with the art, but it's really cool to see it in clip art form. Love the colors. It's so beautiful. Um, so let's go over the actual full boxes, shall we? So we have these signposts, that way, this way, go back, wrong way, down here. So funny. We've got the crown, the chessboard, flower bouquet with the roses, and the bread and butterfly. For some reason, a chandelier randomly in the background. We've got the actual storybook, which is really cool. Tea, tea bag, pocket watch. We've got Alice with her gorgeous dress and a really cool kind of throwback fishtail hairstyle. I remember when we all used to do that to each other. And we've got another table flat lay with, for some reason, a macaron, a little cookie, the playing cards, tea, a key, and a dice for some reason. I don't think a dice was represented in the books. We've got your little tea scene with all the mismatched chairs, and then the Mad Hatter's hat and the white rabbit. Very gorgeous. I don't remember who the artist is, but I do like the art style. Got all your other random functional pages from the mini kit. Tons of deco, which I still love. Newer version of the weekend banner. And then the rest of the apartment is kind of the same. And this gorgeous bottom washi with the roses. It's so busy. I probably will still cut it in half. Because um, it does look like it kind of repeats a little bit. It does, for sure. But um, it's still really pretty. I love all those roses. I like how pastel it is. It just, it, it works really well with this theme. It's just a gorgeous kit. I love the pastel pinks and blues, as you can tell. Kind of reminds me of the, the Cyber Monday mystery, which is also kind of like that with the pastels. I, can, I just never tire of pinks and blues. So there's the glitter headers. And I got three of the labels this time because I think I had to reach like a certain spending limit um, to get like some freebie or something. But also it was a mini kit and I knew that I wanted to have the option to do so some white space with it because there wasn't an ultimate kit available. And like that amount of labels is not enough that it comes with, it's not nearly enough. So I needed three label add-ons just to be absolutely certain that I'd have enough. I didn't want to take the gamble that I'd have enough leftovers in my collection that would match the same colors. I just wanted to make sure I had enough labels straight up. And then here's the Munchkin Head freebie with all their little emotions that went with that. So that is the Alice kit. Super duper gorgeous. I can't wait to use it. In the meantime, I will just have to add it to my collection. So we're going to get into the wiggles. So we're going to start off with the, um, we're going to start off with the mega copper wiggle, copper mega wiggle, copper mega wiggle, <laughs> as I said earlier in this video. Um, the rest of them, actually the video cuts off after this one. So the rest of them you will get in a live recording. How exciting. But right now I'm going to finish up the voiceover with this bad boy. This is like the coolest concept ever. It's like every single sheet that she could possibly have created plus extras that you will never see in any other form in the shop. Um, in just this one copper foil randomly, this one foil color. I wish she would do it in a more common foil for our own convenience, like gold or something, but you know, I guess copper is good enough because there's a lot that goes with copper. There's a lot of kits. A lot of um, fall type kits are going to go well with copper. I myself am going to use this um, to pull it, some of these stickers into the um, the plan with me that I'm doing next, which is using the Pride Rock kit from Simply a Mess. I already have a base copper wiggle for that, the smaller one, but obviously I'm going to have to pull in some of these stickers as well just to round it out, because who could resist? That's what they're there for. So we are starting off with the bottom washi. We have one 
solid one with the white background and one clear, but they are otherwise the same. They are in the normal confetti formats, and then there's the open outlined bows at the bottom, which are my preferred bows. So here's the solid one on the white background. And then just for comparison's sake, I'm going to show you the clear one as well. There you go. So that's four bottom washes right there. Pretty good deal, I'd say. And not only that, but you get one additional one as well. You get um, a sheet of the clear. Hang on clear stars. I'm trying to figure out if they're cut or not. They looked like they were cut at one point. Anyway, you get your big old solid white icons there. You get your little clear sheet that you find in all the mini wiggles. Not the mini wiggles, but like the regular size wiggles. You get that clear sheet. You get your clear labels. So we've got tons of Square Print Scout Happy Mail, new releases, and some Wiggle It Wednesdays as well. Those are on clear. Although you can't really tell because they're solid foiled. Here we have, I think those are the clear, really big icons that are cut out. They're just also kind of a unique design. You usually see the smaller cut out icons. Here we have a whole giant sheet of bows on clear. Date covers, of course, on white background. Then we have a bunch of the full box overlays. So these borders, these are all clear, obviously. We have a giant confetti dots, double borders, stars, star confetti, twinkle confetti, my personal favorite, and then the chunky confetti right there. And then the solid border, single border. And then here we have the um, headers on white, the clear header overlays, bow headers of course, and then we have the confetti headers, the overlays, I believe. Then the star overlays. And then the twinkle overlays. Then the giant food doodles. The one thing that's missing is the drinks doodles from this entire wiggle. But she does have the food doodles in both sizes. Um, here we have the giant circle icons and the date dots. A whole nother sheet of date dots, so you get one, two, three, four, five total months worth of date dots. So that's like so many weeks in there. Obviously that's like four straight weeks of like copper wiggles, or five straight weeks of copper wiggle spreads. Then you get so many of the page flags and bows that is on white. And then the a whole sheet of bow circle icons for some crazy reason, I don't know. And then you get the page flag overlays on clear photo corners. A little impromptu organizing session. The photo corners on clear. You get the smaller food doodles, which don't look that much smaller, but I guess they are. Um, and then you get a whole sheet of the emojis. So this is like, um, so like the actual emojis or emojis rather, like on your phone. So it's basically like the four, um, the four emojis that she gives you on that kind of mini sheet that you get with the normal wiggle, but like it's extended. So you get like all the main wiggles. What is that bottom right one? I can't figure out like what expression that is trying to be. That's so funny to me. It's weird. It's like looking in two different directions at once. I don't know. So we have all the deco. Got your big old star deco. We got a lot of little mini deco, which is my favorite. So tiny star deco. Little tiny sparkles. Little tiny bows, which I love. Little tiny twinkle dots. And hearts filled in and outlined. So that is all of the million different sheets that you get in the Copper Mega Wiggle currently on sale for like $19. Go snap it up because that is all the copper foil you will need for the rest of your life. That is such an amazing deal. So for the next one, I think it's going to be the Sparkly Pink Hollow Wiggle. 
So I'm going to come back with the actual live recording so that we can go over that. Beep boop beep boop. Bye. Okay, so now we're going to transition into recording live again. No voiceover. Um, Because my camera cut off before I could record this part anyway. So here is the rest of the haul. So this is indeed the sparkly pink hollow wiggle in the twinkle format. So I'm just going to take this out real quick. Just to go over it, I'm not going to do this for every single wiggle because obviously most of them are the same format. So this is a really pretty one. I don't think I've seen sparkly pink hollow foil anywhere else. Um, possibly one place. I'm not sure. But um, you can probably agree that it's pretty rare, but it is gorgeous. You can definitely see that rainbow in the pink. It's a lot easier to see um, a hollow aspect on a bright color like pink as opposed to black. So it is just so pretty. And all of these are in fact on my wish list. So I do have plans for what kit I want to use all of these wiggles with. So for this one, I was going to use the spring cabin kit from, I think it's from La La Land if I'm not mistaken. It was probably a printable kit. But there's a lot of other um, shops that use that art. It's just a very bright, springy kit that this color scheme, this foil color scheme would go perfectly with. So I can't wait to use that. Next we have this peachy sheen. And this is a, um, I forget what it's called, but it's kind of like a transparent foil a little bit. As in, it's just like the sheen of the color instead of being completely solid. So that's why I'm taking it out. It is in the same twinkle format. So obviously all the sheets are the same as previously. But um, I just wanted to peel off a sticker so that you could see that it's a lot more transparent instead of just solid foil. See, like you can really see through that. So she does have a few of these sheen wiggles still in the shop. Um, I'm not too keen on the sheen, um, haha, because I think it's harder to get it to show up against whatever background you want, like these eight dots I can imagine would be pretty hard to get to show up, because it's like, it's like a matte foil, so first of all it's not even glossy, um, so the light doesn't like hit it as well. But um, I can see those easily blending into like a date cover that has pink in the background or something. So I would be a little bit worried about using that, but I know it's possible. And I thought this color would go really well with a Hermione themed kit. So I have the kit, um, I have a few actually, a few Hermione kits. Like I'm sure you've seen the Hermione art that a lot of people have used. I forget which one mine is from that I was thinking of, but like you can tell that this particular peachy color would go well with that clip art. So that's kind of my plan for that. Next we have um, orange soda is I think the name of it. Yes it is. And this is chunky glitter. So not only is it the glitter format but it is in chunky confetti. So we have kind of an older style um, bottom washi she sheet here. So instead of there being confetti here, there's hearts, outline hearts, and then outline bows down here. And then the rest of it is kind of the same. You have your full box headers, icons, date dots, photo corners, smaller icons, so that's kind of new. These two are kind of new. Well, not new, but like old. They're old formats. But yeah, I just thought this orange color was really pretty. And again, it's not a very common color for foil. And there's a lot of kits that it would go really well with. So I'm probably going to regret not getting more. Um, hopefully it'll still be in the shop for a while. 
but the one kit I did have in mind for sure was to use this with the Remember Me kit from Skull Prints Co. And I did get that from the Buy Sell Trade because it was definitely, well, it's definitely not in the shop now. It's only in the shop for a brief amount of time around when Coco came out. And I love that movie so much. So that just seemed like the perfect wiggle to go with that because it's, there's a lot of orange in that kit. It's a beautiful kit, by the way. Um... Next, well, last we've got two blue wiggles. So this one, this very bright one, is, I think, this is Shimmering Lagoon. Yeah. Which is a twinkle wiggle. I don't know why I'm taking it out, because I just told you I wasn't going to take all of them out. But it is very pretty. I want you to see it without the cello over it. The format you've already seen. But it's like, it's kind of like a... A hollow blue. You can definitely see it. there's a bit of rainbow in there in the bright blue sparkle, but the blue sparkle itself is very, very like clear and well done and gorgeous. Very solid. You can definitely see that in the icons. So this is a very pretty, very vibrant blue. And it could go with a lot. There's a lot of really blue kits out there, a lot of winter kits. My idea was to use this with a frozen kit. I have many frozen kits right now from many shops. Um, I have the Scroll Prince Co. one. I have the Glam Planner one. I've got a ton um, that I could use this with, so I will eventually pick one out that and hopefully have some stickers left over from this to use with the other kits as well because it is so pretty and it's just that you know that frozen blue it's that color um finally very last we have this gorgeous kind of light blue one this is also a chunky glitter it looks like the chunky confetti and it is the blue raspberry color. So it's another shade of blue, but more tealy blue. And I'm not going to take it out because you've already seen this format, but you can see the teal right there. It's so pretty. And you may be thinking that this looks like it would be the perfect color to use with an Aladdin kit, and that would be my thinking too. So. I think originally my plan is to use this with my um, Coffee Doodles kit called Hold New World. Um, she, I think, drew the art, but a lot of other shops used it, but I did get her kit. Um, and it just has this particular color scheme. Not all of the Aladdin kits out there use this particular shade of teal, which is perfect for the, like, the movie. It's a good representation of what the movie color is. Um, the classic color. So I wanted to make sure I had at least one version of that color. So Coffee Doodles, Elaine had that in her kit. So this goes perfectly with that. Like if you'll remember, I think the um, Skull Prince Co. kit, which I already used, that was more purple based than teal based. So this, and I did use the purple wiggle with that because I did already do that spread. But um, again, this just, this looks exactly like Jasmine's outfit, so I had to get that in order to use with that. So those are the extra wiggles I got, and of course this mega wiggle, which is just so amazing to use with Pride Rock and beyond, because there's so much in here, it's going to last several different weeks, I'm sure. It's going to go well with a lot of fall kits, where there's going to be a lot of browns involved in there, so that just makes sense to me. Um, again, these photos are a really great deal, especially now that they are on sale, while she's making room for more wiggles that, well, she's actually got some really great colors coming out. She went through a phase where she was doing just solid ones, and I didn't like those too much, but now that she's back on unique colors with, like, the clear wiggles, I'm, like, super psyched about that. So, um, definitely, like, keep up with that and stock up. If you haven't already, now that these are on sale, because they, they're probably not going to be coming back. I know I'm going to regret not getting more of the orange ones, or etc, etc. I really hope she comes out with, like, every single color in these giant bundles, but I know she won't. But I wish that she did. 
Um, so yeah, so after that kind of catastrophe of a haul, let's go ahead and finish it off. I know it's a really long one though, so there's at least a bonus for, for having to sit through an hour of that hilarious commentary um, on how I do hauls. So yeah, you get more, more bonus content in exchange for that. Um, so yeah, I don't know when, when my next haul will be, but you know, as usual, stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. Um, what do I usually say? It's been so long since I've recorded a haul that I have no idea how I finish it out. Um, oh so yeah, usually I say something like, if you want to like, comment, subscribe, and share, that would be amazing. There we go, and I will see you in my next video, whenever that may be. Ciao. Mm -hmm.